276 pounds, the maximum. Kerry McCoy for the United States going against David Musobis from Russia. You control the ties, move him. A lot of motion, Kerry. Kerry McCoy won his second NCAA title recently. He is currently ranked third in the United States. And a big three-point takedown for Kerry McCoy. Wow. Kerry McCoy should try some Greco-Roman wrestling. That was a beautiful throw. Caught the Russian moving in. Musalvis was just driving in a little bit too hard, and McCoy redirected it with that beautiful arcing throw. And that's a three-pointer. McCoy has fulfilled the criteria that ended in regulation. And he can now be a little bit more conservative in his approach. And there you see one of the hopes, as we talked about earlier, the one of the young guns here on the U.S. team, and he really showed why here on this move, Jeff. Musobis here has that underhook, and as he drives in, McCoy just goes with that feel, taking him right through with a beautiful lateral drop. And as long as that move was started inbounds, regardless of where it finished, the points are awarded. It is three to nothing for the USA in the name of Kerry McCoy. And he might even earn a point there. They, they're out of bounds, but certainly McCoy could have been hit with a passivity there going out of bounds while under a very threatening attack. Well, Musobis is a very experienced and very dangerous competitor, a three-time defending Yarrigan tournament champion. Right now, we have action at 276 on the bottom right there. The United States, Kerry McCoy, going against David Musobis from the Soviet Union, and despite the position you see the two in right now, it is Kerry McCoy from the U.S. on top, three to two. And McCoy was taken down there. He tried a big throw, and it didn't work for him that time, but it did work for him earlier. That's why he leads three to two right now. Back with more wrestling from her sinus college in Collegeville, Pennsylvania. Action right now at 276 pounds. Kerry McCoy for the United States on the left in the blue going against David Musobis from the Soviet Union right now. McCoy leads three to two. McCoy had a great takedown a moment ago and we will show that to you right now. Jeff Blatnik. Elmas Musobis tried a leg shot and he comes up with the underhook and He'll go back down to attack the leg, and as he does, he drives into McCoy, and McCoy does a great job of redirecting the energy with his beautiful arcing lateral drop. He took a 3-0 lead, but Musobis was able to get a takedown of his own and then got McCoy in that same position, and McCoy tried to throw him and was countered for another point takedown, and that's where we stand now, 3-2. to two. two minutes to go in this five-minute period, a minimum number of points, three needed to win and right now McCoy has that unless these two are absolutely tied we will not oh! get overtime and a good sweep and a one point takedown for Kerry McCoy big point it changed the momentum all the way back now in favor of McCoy it seemed as though Musobis there was about to take McCoy down again McCoy somehow able to counter launch a counter attack got a single leg up in the air and finished it beautifully that's frustrating Four to two now in favor of the Americans. We're under a minute 30. What poise for this 22-year-old phenom. Currently ranked third in the United States at this weight. Wrestled for Penn State in his NCAA championship a little bit earlier this year. His second NCAA title for him. And he is a man to watch. An exciting man so quick in the heavyweight division. And he's really given up some size here to Musobis. It may not appear it, but Musobis is thicker all the way around. Arms, legs, chest, hips. And really the change in weight classes dropping from 10 to 8 has affected McCoy. McCoy used to be a good 220-pounder, 100 kilos. But here, oh, that could score. No, they're not going to call anything. McCoy was in bounds. I'm well, sure. Well, they were both in the zone when that action started to go out, and that's probably the reason why they're not going to count it. But McCoy used to wrestle 220. He cannot make 214. 
and that is why we see him now at super heavyweight. 35 seconds to go. McCoy leads 4-2, to two, but Musselby is a very dangerous wrestler, certainly late in the match, can come up with a two-point move at any time. McCoy doing a great job. He's well-conditioned. He'll need every bit of it now to withstand the Russians' final surge. 25 seconds. Experience may tell the tale here. And knowing when to give up a point rather than get turned and give up two. Seems as though Musobis, Musobis here is starting to slow down himself. He's been frustrated, frustrated by McCoy's defense. Seven seconds to go. And all he needs to do is hang on. One. And there it is. What a great win for Kerry McCoy. Very impressive coming in at the super heavyweight with a 4-2 to two victory over David Musobis from Russia. And he is a very disappointed Russian wrestler right there. But a great round of applause for Kerry McCoy. Well deserved here. Certainly, they love him here in Pennsylvania. He wrestled at Penn State. And right now, Jeff Blatnick is down with our super heavyweight champion for the night. Jeff. Kerry, did you expect to perform that well? He's bigger than you are. Yeah, he's definitely bigger than me. He's got a lot more experience, but uh, I've been feeling good this year. I don't think anything can stop me. Well, I'll tell you, you might want to think about some Greco. He drove into you, had an underhook. You accepted that energy, redirected it. That was a beautiful throw. Thanks, Tom. Um, if you ask the kids from Mathacken High School, did a little clinic for them yesterday, and that was one of the things I showed, so my technique does work when you hit it right. One last question, the weight classes. Can you make 214 pounds, or do you now have to go super heavyweight? Well, I can make it, but it really doesn't make sense for me to make it right now. I'm, I'm reaching my prime in wrestling, and cutting weight just puts an extra strain on me, so I'm going to stay up with the big boys for a few years and see how it goes, and if I decide I need to go down, I'll make that decision later, but for now I'm staying up. Well, two Pennsylvania wrestlers, Kerry Collat and Kerry McCoy, both performed very well here. Congratulations, Thank Kerry. You. Thanks a lot, Jeff.